Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, are you tired of your tires always going flat and looking like this? Um, I'm going to show you the best way to remedy that problem. In my opinion. $7.50 later. An inner tube. Now, although these are tubeless tires, you can run inner tubes in them. And if you got, and this is a decent tire, it's not super dry rotted, um, even if it was a little bit dry rotted, I don't care, uh, $7.50 tube will get me a few more years out of this thing and I think it's well worth it. Uh, now I need to blow this out and uh, you also have to get the this out of it, the valve stem out of here, which I'm just going to cut that out because I'm not going to reuse it or anything. But, inner tube comes with one so basically I'm just gonna start blowing things out well, you might want to grab yourself some glasses which I haven't done uh, there's an actual what appears to be a bees nest in here too I went ahead and took it off there was a whole bunch of uh, this garbage in there just uh bees nest in there and it was really difficult to get out of there so um ended up popping the bead on the other side and trying to get it all out it'll make it easier for me to work on anyway and really it was just a couple bolts and now i can clean this up too as well so the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and get this out of here and i'm just gonna slice into it And not to slice the tire up, just get this out of here. Uh, I have tools to do this with. I'm just, if you don't have tools, you can cut these out of here. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but it works. Hands probably in your way, but I don't want to cut myself, so and that pops out of there. All right, and we got our inner tube here. Figure out which side the uh, goes on there. Hopefully this works because it actually looks like this inner tube is more in the middle instead of off to one side or the other. But we're gonna make do. Um, this is a 4.00-6 tire. Uh, they couldn't find that tube, so they said this 4.10 slash 3.50 dash 6 is supposed to work so we shall see I gotta find the hole again here shove that in there well, actually I'm gonna shove it like that and then let's put it up in there try not to uh, crunk it too much when putting it in there, but it's going to get some. This is going to take a while. So, yet again, I'm going to stuff that in there. I'm going to get it all situated nice. And hopefully this will do the trick. I did put a little bit of air in it just to kind of let it get situated in there a little bit. This is kind of the hard part when it doesn't have air. I'm trying to make sure that this is in there correctly. And you got to kind of hold on to it and push on it at the same time. I don't know 
how much pressure to put in, you can decide on your own. There you go. Now clean up the axle. We'll put her back in there. That'll give that tire quite a bit more life. Uh, yeah, you want to be careful. Uh, you need to figure out what, how much pressure you're comfortable putting in here. Uh, one thing I did notice, like I said, this tube does seem to be, uh, or the stem valve stem uh, actually, does seem to be more on the middle, so this could be turned in there a little bit. You might want to see if you can find one that's got a valve stem closer to the edge. Quite honestly, I'm pretty comfortable with that. I'm not going to be putting tons of material or anything in here. I'm just trying to get a little bit more life out of the wheelbarrow and the tire and everything else here. So there's a little quick fix for you. Uh, I'm not responsible if something happens. Uh, if you don't like the way I'm doing it, don't do it. All right, this is Sam, Jack of all, master none. You all have a good one.